madam president i am speaking on this matter in a personal capacity and not on behalf of my group. the production of illicit opium in afghanistan has flourished since us allied forces have been in the country and this despite setting up various anti drug production authorities and anti narcotic programmes sometimes using large amounts of eu taxpayers' money. so it is obvious even for the blind to see that the afghan people will go on producing opium come what may. and the reason is quite simple the world anti narcotic agencies are growing in size number and expertise and they do their job more effectively and so they manage to confiscate larger amounts of drugs. but since the demand for drug addiction sufferers remains unaltered and since the criminal drug traffickers continue to make huge profits from the illegal supply of opium to these sick people so the price of opiates goes up and the profits of dealing in opium increase. therefore the afghan people are just following basic liberal market principles. they increase their production in order to meet the illicit trade demand and in order to increase their profits. so it is a pure fallacy to expect that sponsoring more opium control programmes in afghanistan is going to have any significant effect. the only way to deal effectively with the opium production in afghanistan and elsewhere for that matter is to deal with the drug problem globally and the only common sense way to do that is to legalise drugs and recognise that drug addicts are not criminals but sick people who need help. if these addicts are offered their therapeutic drugs in a controlled medical setting the chances of not having serious side effects as well as the chances of achieving detoxification will be much improved. at the same time the enormous criminality involved in drug trafficking will vanish and also all anti drug police agencies will be scrapped and phenomenal budgetary savings will result. the logic of this is so basic yet it is so difficult to see by most politicians worldwide. thank you very much.